Hello, I'm Henry Lee, blueherryarts.com. Uh, today we're going to make uh, two personalized name seals for Ethan and uh, Becca. They're a very lovely uh, brother and sister at their uh, very young age and uh, they were born in America, the fourth generation or fifth, I don't know. Uh, these uh, seals are commissioned by their grand-grandparents uh, uh, as a heirloom or heritage seal for them to carry on the family tradition. Uh, so first of all, I would like to talk about the family name and uh, um, how to write it. <coughs> the uh, uh, seal on this uh, uh, screen on the lower left, as you can see, um, have the uh, family name on the on the uh, right. We read vertically. Uh, it is Jiang. Yi Fan or Jiang Becca. So we translate it to those on the, um, based on the sound and uh, uh, the meaning. So let's do the family name as a common character. So I'm not going to repeat uh, uh, for for you, you know, for the second seal. So we'll do this uh, first. So Jiang in uh, Standard calligraphy is this. Jiang. Okay. Let me give you a little explanation uh, about the seal script. The seal script is uh, uh, more pictograph. Uh, let me see if I can find a. Uh, okay, here we go. And, uh, yeah, you can see it here. Uh, let me enlarge this a little bit. It's a uh, kind of a plant um, or uh, uh, vegetable, if you like. It's an edible uh, chow bai. It's a kind of a, a shoot of a, a reed, reed plant, reed, uh, water plant. So it, uh, it, it now used only as a um, family name. And uh, uh, most the famous uh, person with this family name is uh, uh, President Chiang Kai-shek. Let's see if I can find uh, Chiang Kai-shek's name. Oh yeah, uh, Chiang Kai-shek's picture, I mean. That's President uh, Chiang uh, Kai-shek and uh, his uh, signature and the seal with uh, his early photos. And uh, incidentally, um, some Chinese friends and Taiwanese friends think I have a, a same face, similar face as the President Chiang. Actually, well, I'm from the same province. Uh, my ancestor from the same province. I was born in Nanjing, where Chiang uh, President Chiang uh, Chiang uh, President's palace is is, uh, uh, and uh, my grandfather was a uh, secretary working for Chiang government before 1949 and. Uh, he actually um, went to Taiwan with him. 
after the communist revolution. I never met my grandfather, but I do have uh, his uh, calligraphy as uh, 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 as uh, what uh, air room <laughs> you, you might call. It. Uh, and this is Jack Hesh's uh, personal seal. So I borrowed uh, this uh, uh, font, you may say, for uh, for the kids. So because they share the same family name as President Jiang. Yeah, this is another one. And you will see my design. Um, but, but first of all, let me. Uh, uh, these are the cute kids. Uh, American flags. And check has just a uh, name seal carved by a famous artist, Qi Bai Shi. Uh, he also did a seal for Mao Zedong, the rival of uh, Jiang Kenshi in the Civil War. Um, <coughs> okay, let me let me find that uh, correct work we're working on. So this is the seal script, right? I'm not going to show you how to write that. Oops. And uh, let's do with the standard script I just showed you. Uh, if you want to see it again, sometimes we combine the top uh, the horizontal can be combined. It's called grass radical because this original meaning is a, is a reed uh, grass. Right? And this is slightly different. Right? It's a variational form. And later it become uh, standardized uh, uh, in the what they call the simplified character because there are fewer strokes on the left and also in the middle part. But uh, originally uh, it could be exchangeable. Uh, it's just a variation of form of uh, the same character. So in standard script, this, uh, this is traditional, we call it traditional, this is uh, simplified, and this one is still used in Taiwan and uh, uh, overseas Chinese newspapers, they, this one only used in mainnet. They might also write handwrite like this in Taiwan, I believe. Okay, now we're going to learn how to write uh, the uh, semi-cursive style. We call it standing, and rain, uh, walking, and then raining. It becomes faster and faster. So watch carefully. I do these two strokes on the top. So the stroke order is different. And then this vertical and then this left part become just like a hook. And then it's all semi-cursive. So as if there's a um, hair thing line combine all the strokes. Okay. This is the running style. Let me do it again. Try to combine. Let's see. Let's combine some strokes. This is the I'm sorry, not running style, walking style. So, um, let me see. I think I should have a that style. Um, okay, I'll just write it. And I think it's a little um, faster than this, you see. So, we'll write a little faster. Combine them and then omit, omit the bottom part. Okay, that's the cursive style. Okay, 
th this part it, uh, connects supposed to, to the next character. You don't have to uh, do that. If you just add with the dot, it will be fine. Let me do it again. That or a little circle, half circle, be fine. Okay, that's a circle like a, it's a, uh, a kick. I call it combined to con connect to the next character. So this is the the first character. It's a, a comma character that we. Use on both main sales. Now I'm going to do the boy's name. So we have a uh, Jiang Yi Fan. Uh, on this seal, you can see it reads uh, from from top down, from uh, right to left. So the second character is uh, E. Okay, let me show you some something here. Okay, the the character E um, has many meaning, but originally it it means it means um, a a rabbit. Running rabbit, escaping, uh, running. Um, so escape is the the meaning, um, but it's not uh, a negative word. Um, so this this character uh, is composed of a rabbit running in the f in the um, on a road uh, with this. Uh, this radical meaning, a uh, uh, foot radical meaning, uh, walk or run, um, action of uh, walking or running. Um, and uh, later, this character escape become uh, more abstract. So if you escape from uh, society, you become uh, um, hermit, right? So. Uh, we have a, a philosophy called the escapism, uh, practiced by many hermit artists and poets. Um, so they escape from society, live in mountains. Uh, if you just uh, maintain this kind of uh, uh, escapism mood, but without retreat uh, into sacred life, uh, uh, you know, mountain uh, or um, uh, just like you know, you live in in, in a um, uh, isolated uh, home and you know, meditation and that kind of thing. Uh, we we call that uh, escapism, right? Um, we also have a, a, a style like. A, in art, it's when when you paint uh, or write in a style escaped from all the rules is called the uh, uh, yi, yi qi, uh, or yi style. Um, this is a, like Zen kind of, but it's more Confucius uh, scholar. Uh, it's a it's like a more Taoist naturalistic uh, approach to art or living. Um, it, it can also mean very uh, leisure, very um, free style of living. Uh, in this context, context we use uh, together with the, uh, the character Fan, well, it's, uh, the sailing sail. Uh, it, it could be smooth sailing, smooth sailing, uh, free uh, sailing. Okay. Um, let me write this character for you. I'll try to keep it short, otherwise uh, we 
It'll be too long. Second, uh, uh, just uh, the middle character, the first character of given name for Ethan as E. E plus E. The character is Rapid. Running. Okay. E. This escape. And uh, the. Uh, you can see on this uh, side the evolution uh, of uh, a different styles. The, the, the first is seal script on top. Right? The uh, great seal script is more pictograph. And then a little squarelized uh, into a standard seal script for seal. And uh, this second, uh, the third character is uh, the Cleric style in hand dynasty, which is a print style or handwriting style, and uh, uh, this is third, the fourth one. Sorry, is the standard script. Okay, and then we will write this semi cursive or uh, what do you call the walking style, right? So it's a little bit faster. Um, don't forget this dot. And the uh, more one stroke kind of cursive style. And you can just do a half circle like that. Let me show you the. Okay, here's uh, some master calligraphy uh, examples. Um, let's uh, rub it here with the eye, tail, and the this dot. Okay. Standard. Oh, this is the cursive style. It could be freer. Uh, don't have to be exactly the same. It's impossible because it's, some, it's something like a signature style. You can exa uh, exactly copy. This is the running style. This character, this second character. Uh, okay, I'm not going to write this. This is a seal script it's supposed to uh, to be carved later. Okay, that's that's a bit different. Okay, here the second character of. Uh, Ethan, Ethan's name is this uh, Fan. Uh, some sounds in Chinese we cannot find, like uh, the Zen. Th yeah, Fan is the closest. It was good naming. Uh, that's why we, we choose this. Fan means sail, sail, sail. And uh, this the uh, the character is composed of two parts, um, and you can see that in 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 the pictograph. Let me just write this for you. So this left part is uh, the closed cell, uh, like a 
musk. Right, the, there's a paw there and a something hanging from a paw. That's the that's this part and on the left. The right side is like a boat. Um, it just a uh, Some vessel, you know, it could be something like that, right? Just some uh, two piece of uh, uh, the two sides and some connection in, the, in in between. So that that's basically representing uh, the vessel uh, of a, a boat with a sail. Okay. And it, it um, yeah, it's basically means a sailboat, it could be a, uh, it's a what is known, but uh, yeah, just the, the, the sailboat, yeah, and this is the, is running, not running, walking style, semi-cursive style. Okay, so you write this command, then, okay, and then a little faster, so yeah, this one. And you put that dot in, uh, on top instead of in the, in the middle. You start from that. So this, it, it, um, it, so it's different from each other because the the style change. Let me write that again. So. This part is almost like uh, writing the character line, but it's different. Yeah. And you can also put that dot back to the center, I think, like this one. all this uh, together I'll just put on this uh, <coughs> this piece with the seal design so, Cursive. This is inside. stamp on this page uh, to, to, for the kit to keep. Okay. Um, I will write the uh, girl's name later. Uh, so let me continue. 
continue with uh, the first zero first. to remove the wax before we do the transfer. smaller than the stone which is good because we wanted the, the edge uh, with a little slope not, not too sharp okay then I use this uh, liquid called acetone to make a transfer has to be later jet. So now we have a mirror. Okay. more than one coupons <laughs> or printout. Is uh, clear, but it's workable. Let me just uh, enhance it to with a little with a marker this is a, usually you can design with a marker pen but it takes a long time if you carve something wrong you have to redo it okay I think it's okay for work 
because the carving is not going to be as uh, accurate uh, as the print. You know. I just need a design template. I already kind of uh, programmed it in my mind, so I just need a guideline, like a like the red stroke guide uh, on the, on the uh, calligraphy practice paper. Just a suggestion of the structure. And the st every stroke will be different, actually. This is the mirror image. Okay. I use uh, reference here.
Chipping our uh, plant uh, as a part of the aesthetic to um, create the antique feel. Um, so it doesn't look uh, too mechanic. <coughs> Curvy, so it's more like 
the old two model the first uh, two model two, 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 square model perfect squares To put a rubber pad underneath it because the stone is hard. Clean up with uh, soft tissue. That's it. And uh, let's see if I need to move to modify. This part is a little thick, but looks pretty good generally. So. We just touch it for a little.
the fine tuning some strokes that are missed.
Second seal uh, is for the sister of this year, boy Ethan or Ethan. Um, we'll take a short break. Um, thanks for watching, and see you in ten minutes.